Welcome back YouTube, we are going to carry on trying to get the true one as Eden because I failed on the boss again mm. last time. Where is I keep mm. losing Eden now, where is he? Mm. They, they're not Eden, mm. you're Eden. Oh. Um, thank you again Rydog for the bits, there is a hype train going on. I thought I'd li uh, waited long enough. Oh, you did get it, but you just didn't get it. What, what's wrong with our eyes? So we have Holy Shot, I think. And Isaac's Bowl of Tears, crap HP, good starting damage. Did good you see luck. That, We're all counting on you. I need to get more Leslie Nielsen films after watching Spy Hard, even though Spy Hard isn't one of his better ones. I just need to get more films with that man in it, because he was wonderful. And thank you, Hitman Jeff, for 46 months. One in a row! He let a streak die. But thank you. Get ready for a lot of the bloop 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 bloop. Because it's a source of damage. Who's here? Uh, Crispy was saying mm. Steam Forwards as a joke. He mm. didn't get the go live email from Twitch in which mm. I did a terrible joke. Mm. Like a truly, truly terrible Ooh. joke. And he was cursing not getting it. Hmm. You didn't let the streak die, it was killed hmm. for you. Look, chat, I told you YouTube doesn't like hmm. when alerts go off constantly. Hmm. But thank you, Planetar and Pirith, for the bits. I do still occasionally call it the bitch bin. Although, uh, granted, not as much. Bits change over the time. Streaming. No bombs. We will take the monkey's paw, though. Don't say F YouTube. I mean, well, F YouTube as in, in the platform, sure, but not the people on it. Well, not some of the people on it. Die! Well, <laughs> I made a terrible mistake, but we have Monkey's Paw to protect us, so that's okay. Assuming I remember how it works. I think when we're about to die, it gives us black hearts and then fingers disappear. Wow! Uh, did I see a Cuban? Thank you, Cuban, for 32 months. <laughs> That tear effect mm. with Jar of Tears, or whatever mm. this is called, is Ooh. really good. Thank you, Serenity, for the Isaac-themed bits, no less. Who is this Isaac? I've never heard of them. When Jeff redeemed the Barkening, so f spam sorrow emotes. Especially the one mm. of her spinning, because it's wonderful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Ride Dog, as well, for mm. the... I was gonna say, Ooh. Why was I going to say Jeffrey? I was going to say for the Jeffrey themed bits. For the Isaac themed bits. I don't even think Jeffrey is a biblical name. Okay, we can go get a tinted rock now. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Didn't see that. Okay, we've got most of our health back. I have not had an item room yet. Oh, thank you, bump friends, for the bits. See, you're allowed because you're named after an item in this. So that's okay. No, I wasn't talking about you, Jeff. I was talking about Isaac, who is also known as Jeffrey. As it turns out. Were you in the situation where eventually the only people who called you Jeffrey rather than Jeff were your like parents or guardians or family when they were mad at you? Is that one of those names where it happens? Like people named Richard are only called Richard by their family if they're mad at them? Ironically, because the shorthand it sounds like an insult. You can just call them Dick. Vice President, are you feeling in the mood for a game today or will it be me playing Valar? Oh yeah, Chris and Christopher, that's definitely one, yeah. Every name that gets shorthanded gets that. Yeah, I figured. That is the all stats up, I think. Nope. Look, they look alike and it's been a while, okay? I know Scorpio has the tail. So the protected... If we only have spirit hearts, that might be good. Nope. 
Nice. It's actually a very good first floor. Hello, Meta. Hello, G gone as well. And anyone else I missed? No, that's no good. You're kind of tired, so you'll leave it to me, Goner. Okay, that's fine. I just need one good zap to come off of the Jar of Tears and they'll die instantly. Oh, like that. Ah, oh, damn, almost. Almost again! It keeps firing in the wrong direction. Oh, there's the protected kicking in. Why is... No, Jar of Tears always did. It's it's not just like recharging by itself. I have to fire. See? You fire and it charges. It always did that. I might be saying the wrong item name. We do not need to go to the new floors because we're going for the true ending. Good to go. I'm sure I've had this item before. I must have. Since when are the gurglings made of shit? Since uh, Ed became more comfortable with his fetishes. They've made him a lot of money, so I kind of get it. If you haven't watched the the intro video to the Kickstarter he did for the second version of Four, Four Souls, I, I found it unprofessional, <laughs> to be clear, but... It's like going to anyone who's saying, oh, they're just doing the same idea into the ground again. Well, it's a fucking good idea that's made a lot of money, so we're still doing it. Which is, again, not professional, but also true. Like, that is verbatim what he said. Ooh, no, but Jera's been nerfed now, right? So there's no real... Stars. Oh no 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 no! I, I need I need this. Hmm. We'll come back for the Jaredrun. Ugh. Ah! Wait. No, I've left that though. If we live long enough to come back, that will be a different item, right? So that's okay because it randomizes again. Oh, I got a nice looking terrier of some variety in the hype. Yeah, that one. That looks, uh, that's adorable. Thank you to everyone who contributed to it. Oh. Drink. Well, let's just pretend that item was our, our proper item. It is. That's a perfect way to use it. Tut tut. It's a disproving, disapproving dog. Looks a bit like the dog from Fraggle Rock. Well, I don't think it's the same breed. Also, I now don't remember if the dog in Fraggle Rock was real or a puppet. I think it was a puppet. Now that I think about it more. It was a puppet. Son of a bitch. Ooh, I do like trinket smelter if you get it early. But I need the Jar of Tears to do damage. Ah, I could buy it and consume the one trinket I had. Let's see if we can find more trinkets. Hello, whoever we're saying hello to. In case I missed them earlier. I think... Hmm, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm second-guessing myself. I, I was about to say I think I'm going to take Trinket Smelter just because it might pay off in the long run. Because sooner or later we're going to get a Space Bright on this better than the Jar of Tears and I'm going to dump the Jar of Tears anyway. Probably. We can use it for the boss. And then we'll decide. This is the first... Yeah, no, I'm talking about the... It's Four Souls Requiem, I think it's called. The Kickstarter finished like a week ago. Or just over a week ago at this point, I think. 
It made a ridiculously large amount of money, multiple millions, I believe. If that's determined by luck, then all these luck ups we've managed to accrue suddenly is. Damn it, is very good. That's damage. Well, I would have loved to take you, but I can't. I'm not. I'm not super tied to the run, so I am going to try the trinket smelter play just to see if something happens. We'll fully clear the floor on the off chance there's another trinket hiding somewhere. Well, well, the arcade could pay if it has a fortune teller. I need 15 for the smelter, though. You have collected a lot of animal-related moats, including the spider. Nope. Good money and a luck-up, though. Okay, Trunks has more. Trinket smelter. Yeah, let's give it a go. Immediately use it to consume the monkey's paw. And start looking for another trinket. We want as many as possible to consume all. They're all just little stat boosts, but they could pay off in the long run. Because the run isn't doing much else, honestly. I do immediately miss having the Jar of Tears, having a chance to have the special shots though. Because when they happen, they do good work. Hello Trophy! Skulls and buttons. We have no bombs. See? Isn't that basically what I said? Surprising no one, he's, he's a quite crass gentleman. He clearly knows what he's doing because it was an exceptionally successful Kickstarter. I mean, it helps that you just basically take Munchkin and just make it better. We could use this on the boss and then come back for Jera if I remember. That being the optimal part, though. Gotta remember. We'll see. I'll try. I'm sure chat will remind me. Make use of the range. Okay, trinket smeller is charged. I would like a trinket, please. That's a bomb. Did Telltale, like, talk to people in a crass manner? I don't think I've ever seen them communicate with our past tense. I don't think I ever saw them communicate with anybody. Except via the games themselves, obviously. Nice. If you have a one-trick pony, but the pony earns you millions, it's probably okay. No, oh, damn, that's very lucky. That's not so much. bomb to free that. Essentially paying what it costs to replace the resource, annoyingly. They seem so much faster. 
They're moving like lust. Oh, I think it's the water maybe. So we found the boss, but we have found no item room. Oh, you're talking about like them being a one-trick pony. Telltale only did those story games and that's what sunk them. I guess, yeah. Damn it. I'll just walk into you with my shield, which is lasting a really long time. So far it is not worked out taking trinkets from just because we've not been given any trinkets. Glitter bombs? No, this is the Nancy bomb, random blast. That might mean we get brimstone blasts every so often now that we've unlocked them. Alright, use the strength card on the boss, come back for Jera afterwards. I thought somebody bought the IPs. Forsaken. My kingdom for a tears up. I have no kingdom, is the asterisk. I got a tears up. No Krampus? No Krampus. I will take. N oh, I can't take nine lives because it. Well, I mean, I can. But should I? Yes. And I'll spend a life on this. Why not? Ghost Baby might not be bad now. We're just doing all the dumb things this run to see if any of them pay off. The answer may surprise you. Oh, Microsoft tried to remake them? I must be confusing Telltale with. Who is it that made the pirate game? The crappy pirate? Oh, that was rare, wasn't it? Does getting Jack Sparrow DLC? Sea of Thieves, that's the one. That's how memorable that game is. I never remember its name. Anything in here pay it with trinkets? I don't believe so. Your lives are forfeit. What the? What the? There was a ghost inside the... Was that a good ghost or a bad ghost? Puberty. Hello, Mike. Eh, why not? If we die, we just lose a life. Honestly, I'm just gonna... Oh, no, no I'm not. Never fighting. The monkey's poppied out. I was just gonna let myself die because I couldn't be asked fighting because we're not doing enough damage, but... We have something to fight for now. Oh, big horn. He looks smaller than normal. Just need more holy shots, please. I don't think I've heard this part of this music. THQ went down, yeah. Uh, Hyman Studios got sucked into the Activision beast and it was like Akira, there was just nothing left. 
because they made two really good Transformers games, got forced to make a shitty movie tie-in, it failed and they got blamed. Such is the Activision way. Absorb talent, destroy bodies. Trinkets, please. That's a lockup. Yeah. We've got enough potentially good bombs to try something here. Stars. Remind me, Jarrah's there if I forget. Oh, come on. What is this shit? This is such a bad run. Two item rooms with garbage. And because I've left them, yes, that means items if I live long enough to see the return, but I probably won't. They did an AMA on 8chan. It's been a while since I've read such a cursed sentence and I wrote the one that's in my go live message. But what's that? You don't have it set to get email notifications when I go live? Well, I guess you're missing out on top quality humour then, aren't you? never seen a Transformers movie. The only one worth watching is the one from 1984. Garbage shop again. I'll try this chest. Oh, Brimstone Bomb! I want them permanently. I've seen three of the Michael Bay ones, the first one is okay, the rest, um, well the other two of which I watched were terrible and the second one was exceptionally racially offensive. <laughs> Goodbye to Eternal Heart, coming soon, to a run near you. The Touch and Dare by Stan Bush are both fantastic, yes. And Dare to be Stupid by Weird Al. Oh, from the Transformers movie. Although I think Stan Bush did the touch for Rocky and then for some reason it didn't get accepted so it got used for the Transformers movie instead. Knock that away. Magic mush? No magic. Well, magic mush would be wonderful, but I meant liberty cap. Boo urns. Boo urns again. Oh, never mind. That's apparently super powerful. Yes, Mother, we got the Mother transformation for about the 16th run in the roll. Alright, two item rooms utterly ignored, let's do this. I don't know why I was thinking about this the other day, but I was thinking about it like Peter Cullen is in his 80s. So. Chances are he's probably not got super long left in terms of like total number of years. Speed up. And I was curious. Oh, why not? And I'm curious how it will affect me because he was my childhood hero. Well, 
Optimus Prime was, not so much him, but he is Optimus Prime to me. So I'm going to be curious. What the hell? How on earth did that happen? Was that because my luck's so high? Oh, they don't disappear when the room's over, in case you were curious. Huh. forever. I want those keys. Friendly spiders, that's alright. He's nearly I actually thought he was in his eyes. The white champion drops one half, the other one was pure luck. Hmm. Well, like I, I corrected myself, Lojack, it's not that oh, some old man died at an age that most of us will be lucky to live to. It's more so the character they represent in my memory dying. Optimus Prime being a good person is why I, I grew up to be a good person. Well, partially, obviously. Parents make a difference. But the stuff you're exposed to helps mold you into a person. Even though it was from a cartoon designed to sell toys, Optimus Prime is heroic, self-sacrificing, tries to do what's right, protects people, sacrifices himself in the movie. In fact, now go back to D&D. &D. Oh, hello, Donkey Kong. He's 80 this month. Is Frank Welker older than him? Excuse me, they're not robots, they're Cybertronians. Built by the Quintessons, assuming that's still canon. Oh, game just decided to randomly pause again. Love when it does that. That's theme music. You don't take lore from theme music. How did I teleport? The game kind of started. He is younger. Okay. Remember when I thought taking Trinket Smelter would be a good idea? We got walnut, I don't know what it does, but we're taking it. Just so I can feel vindicated that it was the right decision. Take that, we'll take that, sure why not, we'll take that. And carry on. We still need our item room, we still need the boss. And we need the teleport on the next floor, so I should probably just like double up the next spirit heart we get or something. Because I need to dump the Jera rune anyway. Actually, no, that's not true. I can leave it sitting outside the door. Never mind. Uh, we're even trying for the true ending because I died on the beast last time. Mostly because I got hit too much on dogma. More so than anything else. Oh, for goodness sake. Three item rooms are going to have items in it. Two 
two bean items or space bar items in my reflection. <laughs> Me voice the predator. Oh. I mean, just the snarls and whatnot, presumably. Starting to feel the lack of damage. Monstro 2! Just put that there real quick. I've made things worse. Ooh! It did nothing! I like how they look though. I can't even kill a bloody turret. Them out of bombs entirely. We saw what two brimstone bombs and quite a few bombs. Bam! Ooh, wow! More lucky shots like that, please. It's the only time I do damage. Oh, what does that walnut trinket I picked up actually do? Because I don't know. No clue. Fair enough. Well, that's more HP plus a little bit of damage. That's not too shabby. So we have to take the teleport on the next floor. It said tough not to crack, so maybe it's like occasional explosion immunity or something. Oh my god, even the holy shots aren't killing. Oh, it's a trinket. I have no bombs. And I must scream. With darkness comes power. Don't know. Oh, this is just an active room, huh? Just gonna double this up. That is Kane's other eye, which is bad, right? That's not triple shot, or is that triple shot? It's triple shot. Okay. Our tier rate is even worse, but hey, more opportunities for holy shot. And it was a night room I could actually take something from. It's amazing. I'm being sarcastic to hide my anger. No, Jarrahs don't double Jarrahs and whatever else. And then they got rid of blank card Jarrah. You can't break the game anymore at the last possible second for no other reason than it's fun. Because that would be too fun, obviously. Because it's literally impossible to, to break the game via that in terms of items. You can break it with consumables. Unless you're on the last floor. And at this point it's not even the last floor because there's so many other routes you can take. But no, they were still like, nah, we're going to have to take that fun out. I'm going to patch the fun out of that just real quick. It's mind-bogglingly stupid, the things they've done to this pro game. Well, it's 
something else to consume. I don't know, maybe they just got too much into like the Dark Souls mindset where the people who keep on making Dark Souls games appeal only to the masochists rather than people who like mechanically driven strong games. But that might be the larger portion of their audience, I don't know. The knife does not appear to be stabbing. I was using it for damage and failing. No greed, please. I mean, I might as well, I suppose. We get shops on the way back up, right? Oh, I played Tarkov for a little while as well until I realised that it was basically like having a day job. And also very bad. Take 20 minutes to get into a match with friends, no IFF, die instantly, repeat. No, no shops? Oh yeah, that's right, the shops are empty on Ascension. That's fine. Have I seen the Tinted Skull and not realised it? I don't think I have. But I, I may have. Can he drop 9 lives? I could get 18 lives. Well, less one because I died once. That is fine, I think. Because it gives you... Yeah, okay. That, neither of them were tinted. Nope. <clears throat> it's gotten worse. Nice. Yeah, that's another game where they don't understand... Well, no, again, maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like they don't understand what people want from their game and they're just messing it up. But I could be wrong. I think they've successfully made that game so bad to play that people now enjoy watching people play it more than actually playing it themselves. Which might be true for Isaac as well. Look at her face. It looked like Mafia Frog's wife. She had a, a little accident with some acid. If I smelt this trinket, we're going to have a bad time, but I'm still going to do it. This run is pure trash anyway. Alright, I need to find the teleport. Don't go in by accident. Let's get the second secret room, maybe. Okay. So I did indeed pass the tinted skull at some point. Not in here. Not that one. There it is. Shame I won't have the strength card for the boss because that would have really helped. But I can grab it on the way out. If I remember. And if we live. Which we might not. Blackheart maybe to... Okay, fair enough. Oh, there's a tenant rock in here. I missed. Oh. Oh, a guard! Good! Okay. My tears are very sick. Pardon me? Oh, there was a shot hidden there. We will kill Mom, but the Mausoleum 2 is going to be probably too difficult with this. And when the tears do this, it's a little hard to aim them. I don't know where 
that stuff came from, but I'll take it. Where'd I leave that strength card? Down the bomb. Definitely true with Isaac. There's games like that, like back when I watched more video game content, there's definitely games that I prefer to watch rather than play myself. There's tabletop games I'd rather watch be played than play myself at this point too. <clears throat> this is where the pain begins. to eat battery watch so our battery watch watch battery that was very lucky consume announce a new edition of kill team oh that's euthanasia that's in this game in the item specifically good If they change the rules of Kill Team to be as bland as everything else they've been doing, then that's disappointing because it was already bland. But if they make it interesting, I could definitely see myself playing that because it's just 40k bit skirmish. You only need like 10 model stops. I'd have to see how it plays though. I tried getting into normal Kill Team and... I don't know, I just... It didn't do anything for me. I like that every so often my tears just go full good luck everyone. It's like it might hit me, might hit them, might hit the back wall at Mach 10, it's just like whatever. But yeah, like that. Mom's locket, you feel her love. Mm. I don't know, that better not be like the toenail, because if I get the toenail I'm definitely not sucking that up because it would kill me. The cinematic trailer is Krieg vs Orcs. That makes me even less interested honestly because I don't want Imperial Guard or Orcs. Unless they look very very cool I suppose. That might be a good excuse to get an Orc army and just have like a few miniatures. Relatively speaking. Did that just resurrect those things? It is! It's doing the Ragman thing! Can he not die until they're all gone or something? I mean, why aren't you dead yet? Why aren't you dead yet? Jesus Christ! There we go. Prick wouldn't die. Oh, not that way. I'm going back for health. The thing that puts me off with orcs is just the number of miniatures required, so that's the only way it would be at all feasible. I don't see the fun in fielding 120 miniatures on a table. I think that just uh, that's stealing fun from yourself and everybody else present. It's like, yeah, you could run an army of like 120 nerglings, but you shouldn't. But Orc players in 40k, they're a special breed. Did I just kill the turret? I think the euthanasia killed the turret. Tug tape stuck. Don't know what that does, still taking it.
They're just gonna go zoomies around the room. Hm. I only have one bomb left. That's not really gonna help me on the boss. Well, given that they're Mr. Mega Bombs, perhaps they would have. I got healed for opening the chest. That must be one of the trinkets I ate. Nice. Oh, one of the trinkets I ate is definitely affecting my followers, because look at them. They're being weird. Missed it. I went right past the shop. I didn't see it was there. Oh, it could be. Yeah, that's probably what's doing it. Yeah. Why would they add another trinket that does the same thing as Child Leash? Oh no, because Child Leash draws them into you. That's slightly different, I guess. It's just different enough. Oh no, my money when I have no opportunity to spend it on anything. Oh no. No luck ups. Hang on, there could be a secret room here. Damn it, there's a tenant rock in here. They do look a bit stiff, yes. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting there's no boss here. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over I bought 40 key miniatures. Gone. How can you have spent our savings? Oh, those colored shots that look like my shots are their shots. Good. Excellent. I'm using the strength card to try and maintain my HP. Kinda worked. No, there was health there. Don't die. I forgot there was health left over. Okay. Health there too. Is this one of the items I left? No. But there will be three items somewhere. I should have paid more attention to the floor. It's definitely the first one. And the second one, and then the one above this, potentially. Wait, I chuckled at a pun? Oh, the stiff thing! I didn't realise. He's self-destructive and disturbed just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to! You're drunk again, aren't you? Shut up! Shut up! Just keep pushing me like this, I'm leaving! Good, please! We'll be fine without you! Oh, f it's the same items? I thought it randomised! I hope, let's screw it, let's just do it. We don't have any explosive tears? Oh, we could at some point, no. Whatever. This one is trash, I'm insulted that it made it this far. So that means we have bean items waiting for us then, if these don't change. Could also have been a coincidence, potentially. Wow, that was actually pretty good. It's the same items, that sucks. Because it, it re-randomizes the floor, I thought it would re-randomize the items.
I'll hit you sooner or later. That would be fun, yeah. Tears up is good in this situation. It seems to always put item room outside the boss on the way back up as well. Is this the most successful fetish game? Because I know there's a bunch of porn games on Steam with like, you know, naked ladies and whatnot, but that doesn't count. That's not the same thing. Because <clears throat> naked, being naked is not a fetish. Well, I guess it is, but not the kind of meaning. Or it can be, is what I should have said. Exhibitionism is a thing. Oh god. <laughs> we look even worse. You look like Ed wearing a dress. If one of his eyes has been poked out, of course. See? Okay, yeah, there's successful furry games. Those are not worse than a scat fetish game, I think. It's, this is just going to be the bean, so there's no point going to the item room. Might as well just go up. Oh, wow. Please don't leave us. Why are we discussing fetishes? Because we are assuming that Ed has a little bit of a over fixation on poop based on his frequency of which he inserts it into his games. This is actually potentially amazing. Especially if there's any batteries on the floor. Or it could never pay out despite having five luck, you know, whatever. Follow the zebra? Sorry, this may take a while. Have you seen his worm game? Which one is that? Mugenics? Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, we'll definitely be absorbing the cancer drink here. Oh, you're talking about tapeworm? Yeah, we. I, I own it. And we played the tabletop version for a bit. Yeah, it's good. We didn't play the penis version of it. We just played the tapeworm version. Empress is the only one that does anything for us. Creepy bombs or evil up? We only have two bombs, so the other trinket's not really worth holding onto, and the door stop just leaves doors open as we leave, so that's irrelevant. Yep, 
Yeah, there's a version of tapeworm where it's penises instead of tapeworms. For real. The NSFW version. And when they printed all the cards, they accidentally included references to sperm in the safer work version. Might as well go back for another trinket, I guess. <clears throat> Why would you cut a dick? Have I got a faith for you? Wait until you hear about this one. If I beat Dogma, I'll let the cutscene play this time. I don't think I will, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the High Priestess even does anything in this area. Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, we need to... It did drop, it just did no damage. The holy light is doing not too bad. Did you just say pray with me? Spin to win again. Ah, I didn't know which way he would come from. Sucks. He's not doing the easy to dodge attack. Oh dear, brimstone light or whatever it is. No, not that one. Oh, I actually got him. Okay, I'll let the cutscene play. Hello, Narhan. Me after binge watching a Netflix show. I just made a better version of that joke. Oh, we only got given one spare her there. Interesting. I must always try and make sure you have at least six health for this fight then. Plus holy mano.
Oh! Smidge unfair. He was on the other side of the screen when he left. I like that the mom transformation knife just is worthless in this fight. I mean, it's not great in general, but specifically this fight. Whoop! Don't think I've seen that attack before. Alright, we've only lost the free stuff it's given me for this fight. Actually, no, because it healed me to full as well. Get him, death beams. Don't make the same mistake I always do. Go down. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. I expected the bomb to follow down to where I was standing. Angie! Except he has hands, which makes him more dangerous. And there was one. This is actually the origin story of how Angie became Angie, because he lost his hands when he died there, and then he got stuck in that Phantom Abyss temple. Curious what's gonna happen when I die with nine lives. Will it send me back to Dogma? No. Oh. I don't think I've ever I've never seen this attack. I always kill him before he does it. Hello friend. Yes, walk into all my tears. No you can't, because they're following me. This is the hard part because you get drawn in. And then don't die like you did last time where he charges across the screen. There we go. I've never had to do the fire dodge from this other side. Wait, what's happening? Oh no. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I didn't press down enough. And he's probably going to go through the screen, right? Uh huh. None of his eyes are closed. <laughs> I don't think we're close to killing him. Well, oh, it just brings you back. All right, if I have seven chances of not having to do the whole fight, we may have this then. And that sickens me. Or it might just be like E at one. I think I killed myself as well, because I think one of my reflection tears knocked the, the stone on top of me. Yeah, we won. Son of a bitch. Then suddenly, the sky above cracked open, and a white beam of 
light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the top of the hill. We have everything jar, whatever that means. <laughs>